for tonight. One weekend, two shootings, two victims under the age of 18. It's our top story here tonight. Thanks for joining us on the night team. I'm Alex Dieterer. From Pleasure Ridge Park to northeastern Louisville, the incidents are sparking conversations about youth violence in the city and what is being done to stop it. WHAS 11's Connor Steffen looks into that for us tonight. In two days, two young victims of gun violence. Early Saturday, a shooting in PRP took the life of 17-year-old Damani Smith. A little over 24 hours later in a residential neighborhood off Westport Road in northeastern Louisville. Police found a girl they described as a juvenile with gunshot wounds to the leg and back area. It's been ebb and flow. I mean, when you look at 2020, 21, 22, you've seen a... A real uptick. Recent trends tell us Louisville is seeing a decline in the number of young shooting victims year over year, but still the age group makes up a majority of shooting victims. There's a consistency that the problem has been redundant for far too long a time. Between 2020 and 2023, nearly 1,400 people under the age of 25 became victims of gun violence. This past year's numbers are the lowest the city has seen in at least five years. Everybody in the community, rightfully so, wants to advocate and wants to see a community for uh, safe and healthy kids, right? Chris 2X, who runs the 2X Game Changers organization, says his group treats youth violence like the public health issue it is. We want to treat it at the earliest ages to give some hope before these kids even enter into the high school year space. One barrier to finding solutions he says his group sees is parents not seeking support or embracing outreach. One thing is crystal clear to me out of 23 years of observing this problem, is if we don't do early intervention, that problem is even more challenging again to reverse. A 2023 report from the Greater Louisville Project found funding to youth-focused departments of Metro government supporting youth and violence prevention shrunk from the recession through 2021. Now with reinvigorated efforts, the hope is the violence trend continues to drop. We've got a lot of good efforts going on. I mean that sincerely. However, you're dealing with a situation of a city that unfortunately has not totally figured out how to get this problem moving in another direction on the down tick. In Louisville, Connor Staff in the WHAS 11 night team on your side. Right now, there are no suspects in either of these shootings. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the anonymous tip line. That's 574 LMPD. You can also use LMPD's online portal.